getting ready to send some cattle back to their owner's farm. Over here sorted out, we've got some of the low lines getting ready to start uh, weaning the calves. There's a couple of the calves, there's one, there's one, there's one. Um, also over there we have one of the uh, crazy acting heifers that lost her baby. Be glad to get rid of her. Um, hasta la vista. Um, so there's a lot of bickering, uh, been a lot of bickering most of the night. Definitely all morning. And I know last night they were bickering a little bit. I actually had a couple low lines over here on this side. Um, a couple of their calves got in with them when I sorted them out. And when I went to kick the calves back out, I used poly wire to push the low lines to one side, calves to the other, opened the gate, let the calves out, closed the gate. One of the low lines went under the poly wire and then pushed her way under the gate, damn near breaking the gate off of the post. Sounds like the trailer coming down the road now, so this will be it. We'll see you next spring, girls. Yep, you come back here and have your babies. Been a good summer with the low lines. I really like working them. They're very easy to work. Very, very, very docile cattle. Very noisy, but very docile. Okay, folks, we're back. Several hours later now, the low lines and the crazy number 13 are gone. Earlier when we were, uh, earlier when I was uh, recording, I was down there where my ATV is looking this way. So this is one of the holding pens here. And this is where uh, the low line and 13 were overnight. And then this morning we took them through that gate around and got them on the trailer. So, like I said, the reason for doing this is we needed to start weaning uh, the low line calves. Uh, a lot of them were, uh, they were to that age. They were born early in the year this year. Here's one of the low line calves here. There's been some bawling since they've left, but not a whole lot. Uh, I don't see any more low lines in here. Let's walk out here. Now we, there's a low line. And these low lines are from the Faro bull that we have on the farm now. So the yellow tagged ones are from the low line in our pharaoh bull. So there, that one was born here. He's not been tagged yet. Um, over here we've got this one. We've got the one low line here and I think there's still one, yeah, right over there that needs to go yet. And they'll be leaving in the next week or so. Here's a low line. Now to show you a difference, that one there is not low line. Look at the extra leg compared to the low line calves. I'm gonna go over here to the other side and try to give you a side profile of what it looks like if she doesn't move on me. There you go. Oh, the low lines have been balling a little bit today. Looking for mama, needing some milk. So as it was explained to me, it's easier for the calves to stay on the herd with the herd and on the farm that they know and to take the moms to another farm. Um, I don't really have that convenience. I don't have another farm to fall back for my cattle. Um, so what I will be doing to wean is uh, weaning flaps and the baby will stay right with mom. The weaning flap will prevent the nursing. So here's a couple low line calves right there walking out that way. Still think they're going to go find mama. This field is real, or part of the pasture here is our sacrifice pasture. You can see how bad it's beat up. But that's just due to all this rain we've had. And I uh, chose to do it right here at the front of the farm. Um, super easy for me to get the bales in. The bales are just over there. There you can see them. So it makes it a lot easier when we have all this mud. But uh, 
I'm hoping to get a little cold spell so we can move everybody back to the back of the farm where we need to be uh, doing some bale grazing. Here's a low line. I really like the low lines. Um, I'll tell you, today when we loaded them on the trailer, uh, I've been doing this for what, five years, and uh, I think that's the easiest we've ever loaded the trailer, even with crazy number 13 mixed in the group. Um, crazy number 13 is a heifer we got this year that was bred. Um, she recently lost her calf. Um, she charged me a couple times. Uh, it's time for her to go. She's always been skittish, but when she turned on me, uh, she told me where she wanted to be, and that's in the freezer. So she'll go back to the other farm, get some fat on her, and then they'll process her out. We knew she had to leave here before she was bred, so we didn't want that. Now this calf right here, if you've watched my videos and follow me very much, um, you've heard me speak of Red, which is back here. That's her baby, and he's from, a fer from the Pharaoh Bowl. He's not low line. Uh, trying to remember, I'm thinking like the 8th of July he was born. Good way to get size comparison here. Come up to the hay feeder. Look at these low lines. That's a calf right there. And I tell you, when her mom's right next to her, she's just as tall as her mom. All she needs to do is get fat. Anyway, just kind of wanted to give you a rundown on what it looks like now that everybody's left. Um, yeah, the balling's going to go right with it for a few days. But everybody will calm down. And then uh, I think next week he's planning to come and pick up his calves. So they'll all be back together. And I imagine in the spring the low-lying cows will come back and they will calve here so that'll work really well so i hope you enjoyed this little rundown on today's events and uh what's going on at grazing acres farm um if you did throw it a big thumbs up that'll help uh boost it in the youtube search ranks and make it easier for other grazers to find it also tells me hey i like what he's doing so i appreciate that um if you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so and make sure you click on that little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. Now I need to get these chickens to go in the coop so I can close the farm and call it a day. Thanks for watching folks. <laughs>